Hello to the Yellow Couch family. Today I am sitting with the new kid on the block, the brand new country managing director for Tanzania Breweries PLC, Jose Moran. Welcome to the couch. How are you today? Thank you so much, Santa Sana. Very proud to be to be here with you. Thanks. Thank you. Welcome to the couch. Welcome to Tanzania. Um, you've been here four months now, just taking the position as country managing director. Talk to us. What do you do when you step into a business like TBL and you're a fresh leader? Well, uh, first of all, very happy, very humble to be here. Actually, uh, TBL is a, is a huge business. It's a, uh, it's a very well-known, reputable uh, uh, um, business in, in Tanzania. We represent a lot for a lot of people. Our brands are, are, are preferred by a lot of consumers. So, yeah, actually, it's quite a responsibility, but very happy to be here. I'm enjoying it. And also a lot of fun. It's, it's fun to be in the beer business and, and doing what we do. So I'm definitely looking forward. First hundred days, uh, uh, very interesting. I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. Not probably not learning about the beer business, but learning about Tanzania. And so far, I'm enjoying it a lot. Nice. You've actually had around ten years in Africa, and I think the viewers today want to get to know you a little bit. So can you tell us a little bit about your background and how you've led up to this moment? Okay. No. Thanks. Uh, uh, so definitely, uh, I'm, I'm Ecuadorian. So you can notice by my accent. Yeah. Uh, I'm uh, uh, from South America. I, as uh, Josh is saying, I guess I have been, I have 15 years with the group. I started back then in Ecuador and then uh, I moved uh, uh, 10 years ago into Africa. I first was the commercial director in our Mozambique operations. After that, I spent four years in, in, in Zambia as a country managing director and just lately moving into Tanzania. So, but definitely have the chance to travel a lot in our country, see a lot of our operations. We do benchmark a lot around the different uh, Airbnb business in, in the region. So it was not the first time that I was uh, coming to Tanzania. I've been coming to Tanzania for probably the last seven years. Uh, I'm very impressed to see the changes, the evolution, uh, uh, and I'm really love to be in this continent. I consider myself a, 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 an African citizen. I cheer a lot for, for the things that we do, the people here, our brands, uh, but Every time there is a new uh, learning experience. Nice. Especially in East. East, perhaps I have more experience in Southern than in East. Uh, before that, before joining the, the, the brewery, I was also on finance and, and, and business consulting. I, I am a former ENY mm -hmm. uh, 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 recruit. I started a long time ago there. I work in Ecuador, I work in Colombia, I work in the US and in Canada. And probably that finance background also helped me a lot when I moved more into the operations. But I'm a sales guy at heart. Nice. I, I love sales, I love marketing, I love being out with the consumers, with the customers. That's what I really, really feel energized. Mm -hmm. So for the benefit of the viewers, AB InBev is the shareholder of, or main shareholder of TBL. So it's one of the largest manufacturers of beer, if not the largest in the world, actually. Yeah, very humbly. Yeah, we are yeah. the largest. The largest in the world. Um, and Tanzania being the third largest operation in Africa. So a big role that you've taken on. Um, what are your plans for the country? What are you going to do to take forward? And what have you noticed already in four months? Well, definitely Tanzania is very big for us. It's very important. We have been going through <clears throat> a little bit of a transition mm -hmm. in the structures, how we, we are ge uh, gearing ourselves to compete in, in the market. And we have big plans for Tanzania. A few of them are confidential, but you will start seeing them once they hit the market. What you can expect from, from, from myself and from our team is that we're going to be doing a lot of innovation. We mm -hmm. just recently launched two new brands in the market and probably we haven't done that in TBL for probably more than five years. Okay. And we just, uh, uh, we are uh, right now taking the innovation path very aggressively. We launched mm -hmm. Flying Fish, which is being very successful. It's even uh, uh, more successful than we expected. And we're very happy that way the consumers are taking this new brand. It's a very unique flavor beer, very, uh, 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 neutral gender, so appeals for, for males and females in the same way. And it's only in Dar es Salaam, so we're hopefully going to start rolling up to the other regions of the country. 
And we also launched a, a, a second brand, which is uh, Safari Double Malt. It's a, a very unique combination of two types of malts, more like a premium type of offering, but that is in the South region in Maya. So you can expect more news, more uh, renovation around also the brands that, that you love. Uh, and especially we were talking uh, be before this, uh, this interview a lot around digital transformation. So, yeah. so we, we are pro-technology, trying to modernize our business, mm -hmm. being the oldest uh, uh, company in Tanzania, 88 years old, we also want to send the message that we want to be the most modern and technology uh, savvy. Uh, and there's a lot around our, our route to market transformation, the way we connect with the, uh, our customers, our consumers, uh, and, and you will start seeing that a lot from us. Okay, you mentioned technical innovation. What is a beer manufacturer doing in the tech space? This is, this is getting a bit too crazy now. Well, definitely, uh, uh, there's, there's a lot. First of all, it, it's, and, and you're seeing that the world is changing and moving more into type of omni channel so you okay. need to be in the shelf but you also need to be in, in internet so e-commerce yeah. perhaps uh, we also trying to test some pilots here in Tanzania to, to understand how we can start getting orders from uh, our, our customers and our consumers mm -hmm. using uh, apps we just uh, launched an app that is called Beast which we're using in other in other markets but perhaps the part where we uh, 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 focus a lot is in a route to market. So, so the way we, we sell and distribute our beers. Mm -hmm. Like probably three years ago, we, we used to have no line of sight of where our beer was being sold. Okay, mm. uh, we sold through distributors. We still have that model, but now we are connecting the whole channel. So we, we have systems that allow us to understand the stocks inventory levels from our distributors. Mm -hmm. We have a system where actually we have a customer interaction center, so mm. a call center, where we have more than 50 agents that are calling on a daily basis. Uh, uh, it's more like a, a 4,000 pucks on a monthly basis. We interact with uh, 18,000 pucks retailers. Wow. Retailers, 18,000, so pucks are, are bars. Yeah, pucks are bars, retailers, uh, uh, taverns, oh. restaurants, uh, yeah. uh, liquor stores. Okay. And we're now getting control. So we, we are taking the order. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we're using uh, uh, um, artificial intelligence to, to, to understand what should be the ideal order based on the, uh, the buying pattern of the pucks, trying to maximize the revenue. Mm -hmm. uh, we then helping our, our, our agents also focusing on customer service through having visibility of how they buy, then we give uh, that uh, instruction to the distributors. Mm -hmm. So now they're becoming more efficient in the way they are delivering the beer, making sure that we have uh, between a 24 to 48 uh, time window between an order is placed and it's delivered. So it's really step changing, yeah. you know, just making sure that we are more efficient, but also effective in the way we operate. And again, just having all that information, connecting uh, the brewery all the way to the, to the customer, help us to, to, to understand insights, patterns, what people like, what they don't like, how we can promote better our brands, how we can be uh, able to compete better with pricing, discounts. Mm -hmm. It's a journey. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the ABNB model. It's what mm -hmm. we use in, 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 um, in every country. And happy to say that the model that we are, are using here in Tanzania it's perhaps uh, much more advanced than what we see in other FMCGs. Wow. So we see our competitors, not just in beer, but in, in other in, in type of uh, alcohol uh, uh, industry or even uh, uh, soft drinks. Yeah. And we feel very proud that we, we are ahead and we want to stay ahead. Okay, so it sounds like you're using tech to get the right beer at the right place at the right time. Um, and being much more efficient with that. So we can see what the, con the consumer or customer can expect from Jose Moran in the, in the coming years. But let's talk about your team um, and the leadership team in, in, in particular. What can we expect from you as a leader in the Tanzanian market? Oh, thank you. Well, definitely you, you I would like First, that it's not just about me, mm. it's also about giving a ta a visibility uh, 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 and a lot of space to, to my local team. Yeah. One of the things that we were chatting earlier is that we're going through a transformation. Right now, we has, uh, with my arrival also, we have taken the chance to, to create a localized a TBL Mancon team. Okay. In the past, we used to have some executives that were double-hatting 
looking at other countries. Right now, we have a local team that is just 100% focused on Tanzania. Okay. That is a, a very important for us. And also making sure that we have a diverse uh, team. Mm -hmm. So from, from the, uh, the total team, 70% uh, of them are females. Wow. 70% uh, of them are also Tanzanians. Nice. So it's, it's very good to, to we are also moving uh, away a lot, uh, having roles that were in the past probably just exclusive for, for expats. Mm -hmm. We're giving opportunity to our locals. I'm very happy to, to have that. And also bringing new and fresh talent. Mm -hmm. Like uh, we, we strongly believe around promoting people. That is something that, uh, uh, again, being the oldest, uh, 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 business in, in Tanzania, but we also want to be the most modern, innovative, most, most inclusive, more progressive. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, and it's about the people, the quality of the team that we have. We, uh, we have a culture as a business. Mm -hmm. So it's not just my style, but, but it's a culture as a business that we're never satisfied with results. Mm -hmm. So you will see uh, a lot that even we are successful business, we want to be more successful. We're going, always going to be uh, um, increasing the bar but in the right way. We don't take shortcuts. We want to be very ethical uh, 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 and do the right things, not just as a business with our consumers, but also the way we engage with the government, with stakeholders, with the farmers, because it's very important for us. And being one of the biggest companies in Tanzania, we play a big role. Yeah, it's nice to hear that such a historic company here in Tanzania is now pushing the local agenda um, and, and making sure we have locals running the organization. So that's good to hear. So uh, I was taking a look at your profile and I did a quick bit of calculation there. And <laughs> you must be in your early 40s. And with that, uh, you must be someone who's one of the youngest CEOs. You've already been a CEO in Zambia before in the Zambia business and now coming in as a country managing director here as well. I think a lot of people want to know how did you grow so quickly in your career? What have you what, what lessons have you picked up in being able to push through and grow in your career? No, thanks, definitely. Yes, I, I'm, I'm actually 42. Okay. Uh, I believe that the business also gave me a lot of opportunities, so it's a mix of, of, of luck but also uh, merit and, and effort. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a big responsibility, especially when, when you need to take a leadership role at, at, a, at a young age. But we have a lot of young leaders in, in the business, so yeah. I, I perhaps I'm only one of many examples. We believe a lot uh, around talent, and talent for us does not have a age. So mm -hmm. it's around your consistency, your track record, around the uh, 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 cultural fit. Uh, we were talking earlier about, it's not about how many years you have been in a business. It's, a, it's about the, the value that you have brought to the business, the results and, and, and the potential, and, and also how you build other leaders. Mm -hmm. For us, it's very important. We take that part very seriously. We are a company of, we always said, a company of dreamers. Yeah. We dream very big, uh, and we are a company of owners. Mm -hmm. so, so I guess that being a, a young CEO, having a, all the opportunities uh, uh, that I have been given, it's, uh, 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 it's, it's an honor, it's, it's definitely, uh, but I feel also that commitment that uh, I want to also develop new talent. And probably that's why we're here today. Yeah. Because we're going to be recruiting the future leaders for TBL. Nice. That's good to hear again. But um, they say becoming a, a, a managing director is a choice. If I had to push you back into your past, at what moment or is there any sort of defining thing that happened and at what point did you know I am going to put in the work and I'm going to become a CEO? Is there a defining moment in your career or did okay. it sort of just happen? No, it didn't actually. I have a, a very nice story with one of my, <laughs> my mentors. I, yeah. I was telling you that I, I started the, in, first in finance. I, I, I work in, in, in E&Y, so I have a little bit of a finance background, although uh, uh, the most of my career has been in the commercial side. Mm -hmm. But one of my first bosses, which was the, the CFO for the Ecuadorian business where I started, okay. uh, like he asked me, okay, what, what do you want to be? And then he, he told me, uh, uh, I, of course, I told him, okay, I want to be the CFO of this business. And then he said, no, like, I believe you're not aiming higher. You, you're not dreaming big. 
yeah. why don't you want to be like, like the CEO? And I said, of course, yes, like eventually I, I, I want. And then he gave me probably the best advice that I could have got back then, which was then get out of finance. He said, look at the business. Mm -hmm. There is no uh, CEO that is at the finance. Mm -hmm. It's everybody is around commercial, it's around uh, consumers. Yeah. And that probably was a defining moment when I realized, okay, probably I should really aim higher, dream big. I was always thinking that it needs to be a step by step, mm -hmm. but he forced me to think, okay, it can be fast, it, but it's just about you. Make the choices. Mm -hmm. Then I, I look for for a, a, a lateral move yeah. uh, into operations, and since then has been a, a, a great career. A lot of opportunities from the business, mm -hmm. but I believe that was a defining moment when I felt that I should be uh, dreaming bigger. And mm -hmm. since then, that's why I said, uh, and I'm happy that I'm in a business where we dream big. Yeah. Uh, and I guess that it just just happened. Yeah. So your mentor actually pushed you to, to think wider and, and, and grow. And this is an important topic because I'm, I'm noticing a theme. I talk to a lot of leaders and they always talk, my mentor asked me X, Y, Z. How do you choose a mentor uh, as a young person in your career who's looking for that right guidance? What are the key characteristics someone should be looking for? Definitely. I, I believe, first of all, that we have different mentors and, and, mm -hmm. and that play different roles in different times. And you have a mentor that, that is in your business, you have a mentor that is in your family, in your mm -hmm. community, and everybody mm -hmm. will, will add something in your career. There will have people that we admire because of their wisdom, their resilience, uh, uh, the passion that they have. I guess that uh, uh, in my case, I have been very lucky because I have worked with great leaders that they eventually were my, my, my leaders, my bosses, direct aligned managers, mm -hmm. and then became a mentor. So it was like a natural type of thing. Mm -hmm. Usually your mentor is not your line manager. Oh, yeah, it's exactly. Usually it's not, it's not like that. But it happens to me that a lot of the people, uh, and when I move, I still keep those uh, uh, people close to me. I observe a lot. Mm -hmm. I, I, I talk a lot, yes, but I also <laughs> observe a lot. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I try to get the best of uh, everybody. But I also learned a lot of people that probably would not consider my mentors, mm -hmm. but there were people that were right for that moment, colleagues, peers, mm -hmm. even, uh, even the people that were reporting to me. Yeah. Through this, uh, uh, one of the, the most nicer things around being a leader is that usually you're appointed a leader but you're not 100 percent one mm -hmm. you are in the journey to become mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. and then you need to keep learning keep looking up to the people that you admire but also keep listening to the others to getting feedback it's, it's very important that uh, uh, and i i would say that i learned a lot from from the people that i work with mm -hmm. nice above and beyond just receiving feedback and and advice would you say you've worked hard? Yeah, I work very hard. I play also very hard. Yeah. This is something very, <laughs> very uh, uh, unique in, in our business. Yeah. But I guess that also I did it because I have seen so far that our company believes a lot around meritocracy. Mm -hmm. and, and that is good. And that's really what helps us to bring talent to the business, to nurture talent, is that when you want to win and when you want to achieve things and you see that the business has the same mentality, the same DNA, the same culture, and you're giving the opportunities to express, to talk, you see that you can grow. Mm -hmm. And it's not about spending a lot of time in a position. It's about if I deliver, I will see the results, I will see the rewards, uh, then it comes. So I have to say, yes, I have worked hard, but uh, 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 we're in a business where everybody works hard. I'm, I don't feel that I'm different. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I was lucky that uh, I got the chance at a very early age to travel into many countries that probably helped me a lot mm -hmm. uh, 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 to see the world in a different way to be a little bit more flexible more adaptable mm -hmm. but uh, uh, I, I strongly believe that uh, it was nothing special it was just really putting the time and especially as a dreaming big yeah you know that uh, it takes the same amount of energy to dream small dream big so True. So we dream I big. Never thought of that. Yes. So always dream big. Exactly. Why not? Yeah. And how do you bring your dreams to to reality? There's some sort of techniques. I've heard some people talk about writing down your goals. Do you have anything, or are you sort of flowing? 
I flow a lot, yeah? yeah. I, I, I'm not gonna say that I'm those type of uh, CEOs that, that are very structured. Yeah. Actually, I'm a little bit, uh, I believe a lot of common sense and simplicity. Mm -hmm. I flow a lot. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm always thinking about things. I'm always, and any time that I, I'm running or even in the shower, I'm always thinking, I never disconnect. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. probably that helps me to then uh, prepare my day, prepare the week, prepare the plans. Uh, and yeah, I'll say that that's the way that uh, uh, I structure the vision. Mm -hmm. Probably as, as a CEO, what we do is just be an enabler uh, uh, for our team to achieve things. Mm -hmm. So I have a lot of free time in reality to yeah. think about the future, think about the innovations, the insights that we're getting from the consumer, because the real hard work mm -hmm. is my team. They're, yeah. the, they're the heroes. So yeah, yeah. This is not me. Mm. One, I was already in that place where I had to work a lot. Now for me, it's more, okay, how I make their life easier yeah. and use my time to, to think. Yeah, nice. So I, I sense you're a bit free-spirited with how you uh, manage your day and manage your goals and sort of, you, as you said, think about it all the time and that allows you to be dynamic and uh, switch and, and, and move as needed. Cool. So uh, with that, we'll be moving into our trivia section. So we'll get to know Mr. Jose here a little bit better with some quick Spitfire questions. So I have to ask this one. What is your favorite beer? <laughs> Very nice. I'll need to be super honest. Yeah. Right now, my favorite beer is Kilimanjaro Premium Lager. Yeah. But I have one favorite beer of all the mar of each market that I have been working with. Okay. So uh, here in Tanzania, uh, I love Kili. Yeah. Back in Zambia, it was Mossi Lager. Yeah. Back in Mozambique, it was Deutsch M. Yeah. Uh, and, and I guess that the more I'm going to be moving markets, I'm always going to have my favorite beer. I, I don't believe you can have uh, uh, one favorite beer. Yeah. yeah. It changes. I, it changes. I, I love all the ABV beers. That's mm. very important for us. I, I don't drink competitors. <laughs> you can't uh, choose between them. No. Yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite application on your phone? Well, it's very, very interesting. I'll say that uh, 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 I like Instagram a lot, not just because uh, it keeps me connected with the people that I love, but because I used to, to, to navigate a lot to get insight from consumers. So I'm always looking to new hashtags, mm -hmm. checking places to see what people are posting because it, it helps me to understand how, how they think, how they're connecting our brands or other brands mm -hmm. and give me a lot of insight of what, uh, uh, um, what are, can be future trends. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not a millennial, so probably I'm not on TikTok or other things that probably uh, 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 younger consumers are in. So probably mm -hmm. I need to be more into, into that part. But yeah, you need, to, you need to catch up. Especially because of uh, our type of work. But I'll say that uh, um, I love uh, Instagram. Facebook is important for all for older people. Mm -hmm. But uh, being away from family also keeps me uh, close to, to friends and to family. Yeah, I will say that those are the two ones that, that I use. Uh, definitely, uh, um, yeah, probably I'm, I'm, I also don't spend a lot of time in, in, in my phone. Okay, I, I, you're not a phone person. I'm not, I'm not. That's good to hear, that's for a change. Um, if you're not a phone person, my next question should fit for you. What is your favorite book of hmm. all time? Well, I, I, I like reading, mm -hmm. although lately I have not been reading. Mm -hmm. My favorite book of all time is uh, Little Prince, El Principito, mm -hmm. uh, uh, because it really has a, uh, it's a nice story. So it's the first book that my mother gave to me when I was a kid. So mm -hmm. that's my, my favorite book. But to be honest, I love all type of literature. I, I love books, that those that make you think, mm -hmm. those that are about, uh, uh, I also like uh, sci-fi, thrillers. I, I, I'm into everything. I, I really have to say that okay. I don't have a preference. That is my favorite book, but not because of the story, but because it has a very emotional uh, uh, touch for me because of my mother. Okay, nice. Uh, what is your favorite movie or <laughs> Netflix show, maybe I should say? Oh, okay. Favorite movie? I really love uh, Star Wars. Okay. So I'm a Star Wars person, not a Star, a Star Trek. Big dreamer, huh? Big dreamer, <laughs> definitely. Uh, but I love sci-fi. Yeah. I'm a lot into the movies from the 80s. Yeah. And 
And from Netflix, I, I really ju- I like Netflix. Perhaps it's something that, uh, although I'm not a f- person that spends a lot of time in the in the phone, Netflix do catch my attention, especially on the weekends. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I watch everything. My 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 girlfriend always is telling me that I can watch from like serious things to the most silly uh, 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 romantic comedy, and I will mm. still enjoy it. Okay. Probably because it's a way to just uh, distract and relax. Yeah. You mentioned earlier, work hard, play hard. What do you do for your play? Okay, I, I'm, I'm super social, so I really love to be around people. I, I, I love to be out. Since I have, I have just arrived to Tanzania, still and very busy around getting to know the business and the mm-hmm. people have not have a lot of time. But uh, I like to be outdoors, okay. so I love to go to uh, to the ocean, do ocean uh, uh, sports. Now into running, I have started running. It's something that I stopped and now I'm, I'm trying. I'm training for the Killing Marathon, mm-hmm. which is it's in, in February. So I'm, <laughs> that is really what is taking a lot of my time, trying to, to wow. up my game. Uh, you but doing I'm, the full marathon? No, no, no. no, no. Yeah. I'm going to try to do the 21. <laughs> Yeah, my girlfriend yeah, yeah. probably will do the forty, uh, the forty-two, but I, I, I won't. Yeah. But uh, and everything that is around being with people, going out, being in the beer business, mm-hmm. you never stop working, because even when you are out for dinner, going to a club, you're always observing. Mm-hmm. So our business is always about being out. Yeah. Seeing what people are doing, what are they drinking, what they're not drinking, what how they behave and different type of uh, uh, people. So you really need to be uh, 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 very social to interact and get insights. Nice. So, so uh, that's what I do a lot. Work and play, it's mixed. Exactly, but it's fun. Yeah, but it's fun. So Jose, And you get paid for it. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> so Jose, as a final message, we always uh, give our guests the opportunity to give a message to young people uh, in the country today who are aspiring maybe to work with TBL or aspiring to reach up to become country managing director of TBL, what's the number one piece of advice you can give them today? Well, I believe uh, I already said is uh, dream big. Huh? Uh, we have this uh, phrase from our CEO that it takes the same amount of time to dream small or dream big. So why not dreaming big? Believe in your dreams. And, and something very, very important is that we live, especially in a country, in a continent, that there's a lot of opportunities. Uh, we need to always benchmark ourselves to, to higher standards, never be satisfied. And, and we can make it. I made it. Everybody can make it. It's mm-hmm. about to, to see the opportunity, grab it with both hands, work hard, and never be satisfied. And, and, and you will see. I have seen a lot of great people in, in these four months in our business in Tanzania, talented people that we're looking to promote, to groom them, to grow them. Uh, because there is the, 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 the raw material, there's a the capability. It's just a matter of give opportunities. So I will have to say that to people. Never stop. Uh, uh, it might sound a cliche, mm-hmm. but it's not. Never stop dreaming. Yeah. Thank you, guys. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Dream big is the message from Mr. Jose Moran. He says he likes socializing. So if you see him out and about, don't forget to pop by and say hello and introduce yourself. Please. But please, as for now, Comment below, let us know who you want to see next on the Yellow Couch chat and subscribe to the Empower YouTube channel. Thank you very much.